In this video, we're going to be learning the major muscles of the arm. Now, just for a reference, here we can see our scapula, so this is the shoulder region up here. This is the arm region. Remember, arm in anatomy refers to the area between the shoulder and elbow joint. It's not synonymous with the term upper limb, which describes everything from the shoulder to the fingers. Now, if we remember Latin, and if you don't, that's okay. The Latin word for arm is brachium, or brachium if you say it with an English accent. So brachium means arm. All of the muscles in the arm region have brachii in their name to let you know that they're found in the arm. Our first arm muscle is this one here. It's the most superficial on the anterior side of the arm. And if we follow it up, we can see that it starts to split into two separate heads. This muscle is biceps brachii. Bi means two, seps means head, so it's a two-headed muscle, and brachii tells you that it's in the arm. The important thing to remember here, you must put the full name, biceps brachii. Don't just put biceps. If you just put biceps, it's wrong, because when we get down to the thigh, we're going to learn about another muscle called biceps femoris. So you want to be able to distinguish between these two. Sitting underneath of biceps brachii, so I'm going to turn this to the side so we can see below it, we have this very large muscle. This is called brachialis. Brachialis, the arm muscle. This is the prime mover for flexion. So this is when we flex our elbow, this is where we actually get most of the power. Biceps brachii is a synergist, so it helps brachialis out. Now, if we go back to the anterior side and we look on the medial side here, we can see this very slender muscle here that runs up and attaches to the coracoid process on the scapula. This very thin muscle is called coracobrachialis. Corico refers to its attachment at the coracoid process and brachialis tells us it runs through the arm. On the posterior side of the arm, so if we flip it all the way over, so now we're looking at the back side here, which we can see, we see that we have a three-headed muscle. One, two, three. This entire muscle on the posterior arm region is called the triceps brachii. Tri means three, one, two, three. Seps means head, so it's the three-headed muscle, and brachii tells you it's on the back of the arm region. 